Hey everyone, welcome back to my another logistic regression tutorial. Well, I think this is my seventh tutorial of this tutorial series. This tutorial will be quite short because in this part we'll write a prediction function. So in previous tutorial we wrote an optimization function that will output lear the learned W and B parameters. So in this tutorial we will be able to use these parameters to predict the labels for our dataset x. So in this tutorial we'll implement the predict function and there will be a two steps to computing prediction. So the first step will be to calculate and implement this function. This is something similar as it was in former pro propagation and second step will be to convert the entries of an input, I mean the predicted entries. So for example, if our prediction is less than, than 0.5, so it will be meant to be a zero, it means a dog. And if a prediction is more than 0.5, it meant to be one, it means there is a cat. So we'll store these predictions in a vector. So let's simply begin coding because the function will be quite short and there is no need to, to stop doing anything. And here I won't need to print this, but I will need these parameters. And we'll use the same uh, random numbers we wrote before. And just simply uh, write a function. So define a new function. I'll zoom in for you to see it better. And so define predict here and I'll write W, B, and X. So just like that. M will be equal to X dot shape and one. So this is our examples, number of examples. E prediction will be output of our predict function. So I prediction is, will be equal to numpy zeros for now. And the same shape as will be our input, I think. I don't remember right now. But yeah, it should be like that. And next will be our W. So W means our weights. So our weights are the same as as before. So it's uh, rows, columns, and ch channels multiplied by one. So we'll reshape this. as the same as x input so so actually we don't need this to reshape but for for now for la maybe later for other purposes we would need this step so for now we just do this x dot shape zero by one And now we can calculate our Z. So it's the same as in forward propagation. So it will be a numpy dot. And here will be W dot T and X plus B plus B. And here is simply uh, a equal to sigmoid z. That's it. And here we should receive our prediction right now as a. Well, we can try to call it. And how we'll do this is we'll call this function simply just like that. And here I'll try to print a and we can print a dot shape to check what we receive okay let's build this oh sorry i made a mistake here there should be a dot just like that 
and here is numpy not no it's also so as you can see there is three parameters and there's a shape one to three so what we'll do here is we'll go to a for loop for i in range of a dot shape by one just like that and as you can see shape by one will go to our this this place because there there is all our predictions we just loop this uh, loop so here in our example if a and here we go to our another loop uh, if more than 0 0.5 so here will be our i prediction i prediction will be off i mean not will be but off zero and one will be equal to one and else we can write the same will be equal to zero so this way we put a prediction to our i prediction numpy array as before it was uh, uh, defined as zeros and here we simply uh, use our return i prediction and the same we can try to call this i think print and let's see what we receive um sorry i made a mistake here i see that here should be i and here should be i so let's build this again and everything looks fine right now so if you replicate my code you should receive the same results so for our results we could say that we predicted two cats and one dog but because our inputs was not a real images but just a simple random test numbers our predictions also doesn't mean anything so up to this point uh, now we know how to prepare our training data how to optimize loss iteratively to learn w and b parameters so computing the cost and its gradients but and updating the parameters using gradient descent and in this tutorial we learned w and b to predict the labels for a given set of examples so in next tutorial we'll merge all functions written before into a one mod model here's all the functions we'll use and we'll train it to predict cats we see dogs so you'll see that it's possible to do this with rate and descent or simply talking one ne neuron neural network so there's no network anyway it doesn't matter and that's it i hope uh, you like this video you subscribe me and so on so you can get more interesting my videos and thank you all for watching and see you in a next tutorial